Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. All right. Hey, so today we're going to try to do it all because, uh, you know, that's that's what that's what life sometimes asks you to do is to do it all. So we're going to exercise and we're going to make some lovely homemade eggnog and then we're going to paint this lovely poinsettia, this lovely poinsettia here. So let's get, let's put a little paint on the canvas here and get that started here. We're at uh, three miles, uh, three point to two miles an hour here. And let's just kind of block in. Now that's, that's not really the right color, but that's okay. Work with that guys. It's okay. If it's not working out, we will make, uh, we'll, re we'll readjust, we'll adjust how that goes. So we got that started here. Now I got the, the eggs, I got some sugar and uh, what we got first, first what we got to do is for homemade eggnog you know of course you can just buy eggnog at the at the store already made but it's so much more interesting to make your own eggnog so uh, I, I looked up the recipe and it's it's not impossible guys that the trick here is that we need to find a way to separate the yolk from the uh, from the the white stuff you know so we're gonna have to do a little bit of that just a little back and forth stuff here and okay so we'll do about six of those all right all right so now if we get if oh I see now some of that white got in there oh okay that that happens uh okay let's try this a better there there you go oh that keeps falling okay well this we'll just try to doesn't always work out things don't always work oh look at that see practice makes perfect okay I got that's gonna be three or four here we go back and forth you go with the egg and then you can keep the yolk hopefully it doesn't break on you which it just did okay now let's add some sugar to that and we're gonna whisk we're gonna whisk about a cup of sugar we, we're just gonna guess half a cup half a cup mind you and uh, there we go so there's the sugar and we're just gonna whisk it you know you just whisk you whisk it just like that very nice almost like a almost like the poinsettia uh, the color the yellow all right now right here this is where we're gonna start getting the milk here get to about two cups of milk uh, and we got to soy milk I don't know sometimes that you know we don't know if that's gonna be the if the how that's gonna work out uh, and again it's okay to eyeball it particularly when we're experimenting and figuring stuff out and let's put some cream and uh, I didn't have I, I should have I read the read the instructions but we'll just put regular whipping cream because it's a little more funner to put it in there and a pinch of salt get a pinch of salt just put a few more along with some nutmeg and let that cook let that simmer okay so it's just a combination of letting that simmer uh, along with uh, and, then, and then we're gonna start putting it in there in, into the eggs let's go back to our painted guys uh, we're uh, 3.2 miles an hour and we'll go ahead and uh, clean our brush and get some uh, try to get some more uh, uh, and make an attempt at trying to capture what we got in front of us this lovely poinsettia now this is you know you usually think of a poinsettia with the red leaves but I saw this and I was like wow yellow yellow leaves so it's just kind of fun change it up guys try something different every once in a while you know so we got some yellow poinsettias all right so I get that going on there there's some green somewhere on the a little green leaves so let's bring some green leaves out here let's see if we can spin that around just a tad bit here get that to cook just a tad bit all right okay and uh, keep that keep uh, uh, spinning that around don't let it set on us okay it's gonna be a little tricky when we start we're gonna lap that in there we're gonna temper the eggs you guys ever tempered your eggs it's a fun thing to do and it, the eggs don't really like it they, they actually have a bad bad temperament but uh, 
but that's just the way it goes. Okay, all right, so we got little, there are little doodads in here. So let's get some of those little doodads. That's like inside of the flower action. Let's capture some of that. I'm just kind of picking up stuff there. There's the bottom, the base of the flowers. Let's get some of that going on right here. All right, we're doing it all guys. Having a great holiday. Doing it all people. Come on, baby, let's go. 3.6 miles an hour. Okay, this is starting to, this is starting to get a little hot. I like that. That's good. All right. So what we're doing over here now is that we're gonna whisk a little bit at a time into the eggs. So let's try to do some whisking and putting some of the milk into the eggs right there. Okay, and that's basically gonna be what you're doing. This is how homemade, guys. Homemade eggnog, it's fun. You can do it at home. Get a recipe to follow it, you know, in case, you know, you might be missing out on something here. Let's see if we can get some. Don't miss out, John. What's that? I said, don't miss out. Yeah, don't miss don't out on, no, the there man. you go. Don't miss out on the fun, for sure. Okay, so we, we whisked that some more, just like that. We're gonna whisk it some more. Here we go, whisk and whisk. Just throw it all in there. All right, whoa, whisk that. Whisk that up now. Let's see how that smells. Okay, kinda smells weird. That happens. Okay, now let's just put it back on the stove here and let it sit there for a second. Okay, almost there guys. We can throw some vanilla on there. All right, let's get back to our painting guys. Doing it all here, 2020 holidays. We're doing it all. Let's get work the darks. Get some darks and some darks on there. So let's put this in here and see it's kind of getting a little thick. Huh? We don't want it to get too thick, I don't think. So let's pour it in there. And it's still a little too hot. Probably could get some ice cubes. I think might not be a bad idea actually. Okay. Uh, it kind of didn't, wasn't terribly sweet, you know? So I, I want to put a little more sugar in there. You can always do that. And uh, if you want to have some little alcohol, uh, rum is always good. Okay, so we'll just put a little rum in there. Okay, just a little bit for flavor, of course, for the flavor. Uh, let's see, what, well, we'll just leave that there. Can I turn that off or is that on? Okay, I think I had that on. Okay, that happens. Let's uh, put a little vanilla. There you go, some vanilla. Let's push it back there. There we go. Let's do some, get back to the painting, guys. Let's do some painting, baby. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's it, beautiful. We'll work the background, a little background action there. Okay, let's see how that's, how that, and I think that just the vanilla in the sugar is gonna be wonderful. Oh, and then, and then the rum has a nice smell to it. I think I'll actually take a sip, let me see. Now it's too hot. I, that, you know, we, we cooked it, you had to heat it, and you don't know, generally serve uh, the, uh, Okay, it's still cooking there. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't serve eggnog uh, hot. So uh, we want to chill this at a, about a whatever kind of degree. Just put it in the freezer for a little bit. But I'll just say offhand, it does taste like eggnog. Now we didn't get all the eggs in. We, we lost a few and we pumped up a little bit of extra sugar. But other than that, it is wonderful. Now you can top it off again with some lovely various uh, garnishes. What I like to do is put whipped cream. You can pretty much, pretty much put whipped cream on everything. It just makes life a lot better. Whipped cream is for everyone. There's nobody that cannot deny that whipped cream is wonderful. Okay, that's the end of the whipped cream. You gotta, you gotta be willing to take chances. And we did here today. And in life, I recommend it. Take some chances. All right. Well, thanks so much, guys, for 
for checking, uh, coming and, and letting me come into your homes today uh, and, and have a wonderful holiday season, a wonderful life, and get out there and do it all. <laughs> Thank you very much.